WKYU, we were slowly, over many years, developing a problem with power delivery to our lighting grid. The system had originally been installed in 1969. Wiring was deteriorating and power delivery was inconsistent. We could not simply afford to rewire our studio with the same amount of copper from the original installation. Additionally, our incandescent tungsten fixtures were highly inefficient and many of the stage plugs connecting them had fused together. So, we had to think of an innovative solution. After a significant amount of discussion and research, we felt that our best option was a complete replacement of all wiring and fixtures. Significant advancements had been made in quality of light generated by light-emitting diodes. Several companies were working on developing instruments that were stable enough for the specific demands of television lighting. Using this technology, we were able to replace the wiring, distribution system, and all lighting fixtures for significantly less than the cost of just rewiring the studio at the previous level. First, we removed all of the old wiring, hardware, and light fixtures. The wiring was recycled by the vendor, which reduced the overall project cost. After demolition, we installed a new wiring system requiring significantly less copper wire due to the low power consumption of the LED fixtures. Once the wiring was in, we installed the new lighting fixtures and our customized computer network, which allows wireless control of the lights via an iPad. The iPad, or even an iPhone, can control the computer program running the lights through a remote desktop client. The wiring capacity in the system was originally 1,500 amps. The new system operates on a total of 38 amps. We used to spend over $1,000 per year on bulb replacement. The LED fixtures will last approximately 35 years with no bulbs to replace. There are 60 instruments in the studio and, in total, they use the same amount of electricity that two traditional quartz lights used. Control of the system has greatly increased since we can not only turn the lights on and off with the iPad from anywhere in the studio, we can also control brightness and change color. Color control, traditionally, had to be done by inserting color gels in front of the lighting instruments. We now touch the color we want to test on a color palette and the lights instantly change. Individuals working under the lights are more comfortable and less intimidated by the studio environment. And for you, the audience, you're making history, we're making history. You are the first governor in the United States to tape a show, to be a part of a program that is being lit in a studio by all LED lights. This is, this is brand new and this is 97% more energy efficient. So we're going green and you're the first to be a part of that, so welcome. Well, thank you and that's exciting to be a part of that. We are using 97% less power and have significantly reduced our cooling cost in the summer since these lights only put out 5% heat. Our student production crew is constantly being exposed to these environmentally friendly lights and hopefully their education will result in broader industry acceptance of LED lights, phasing out the inefficient incandescent instruments. This system is much safer to operate and maintain Lights at the source are low voltage, which greatly reduces chances of accidental electrocution. Also, burns resulting from bulb explosions or direct contact are eliminated. Additionally, these instruments weigh considerably less than their tungsten counterparts. Potential injuries from moving lights or falling lights are greatly reduced. Finally, because the patching and dimming is controlled with a computer network, there is no more operational contact with high voltage wires to create potential arcs or electrocution hazards. This all LED, only LED studio system was the first in any university and the first in any public television station in the United States. This studio is now on the sustainability tour of Western Kentucky University.